Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and as you can see, I'm starting out with my P. Louise base here. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be testing out the Beauty Bay and Nikki, tut Nikki Tutorials brand new palette. Um, I know I'm a little bit late to the bandwagon. I received this for Christmas, and I thought I'd try it out here. So this is my first time trying it out, and I am speeding through this right here. I... I had to have a sit down and try and have a proper play with it and nothing was going right for me. So as you can see I tried using that purple and I felt like it wasn't deep enough and every time I tried deepening it up it just kind of blended away. And then I tried doing kind of like an ombre cut crease but the colours they weren't blending together. So it made like a very obvious kind of muddy line which I definitely didn't want. I mean, I could have just been my blending. I mean, I could have just had an off day, but you know, it just, yeah, it wasn't going right. So I dipped into this palette I've got here. By the way, let me know if you want to do, if you want me to do a tutorial on that palette. It's the Client Clientele Palette by Be Perfect. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just using the black in this palette. Kind of giving me a bit of shape because I thought what is missing from that palette is a black. There is no black to be seen, and I'm like, well, I like to have a really deep outer V, and I'm like, I can't do anything if there's no black, if there's no deep shade in there, so I went and got a black shade from this palette, but, you know, use any palette that's got a black if you wanna, if you wanted to recreate this, I don't know, I don't know if it's, it's worthy of a recreation, I mean, I did try, I, I tried my best, honestly, guys, I did. Um, so I'm going in with this purple again, because I was, I was determined to make that purple, and like, you know, make it useful. <laughs> so I'm just kind of blending it into the black. By the way, just letting you know, that black, so easy to blend. Like, you know how blacks can be really, like, harsh, and, you know, once they're there, they're there. Really easy to blend. And I kind of like that as well, because it didn't lose the, um, the blackness of it. Anyway. Yeah, kind of blend in the purple in, and at this point I thought, okay, yeah, this is it's going alright, it's not going too bad. So this is kind of the only way I kind of was happy with how the purple was looking, because the purple on its own was just kind of, whenever I tried packing on, it it just blended away as soon as I, you know, tried making it look a bit more seamless. <laughs> um, which obviously is not what I want when you're doing dramatic looks, you know, you want less blending involved, really. Um... So, so yeah, that was kind of what we had to deal with. And, you know, that whole palette, I mean, I did hear mixed reviews about it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I did watch a couple of reviews and I was like, oh, no, don't tell me, like, there's duds in the palette. Because I heard um, Make make Me at Missa, she said about she had a dodgy palette, so Beauty Bay gave her a new palette. But she said it wasn't much different. So I was like, oh, okay, don't don't give me a dud, don't give me a dud. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I'm just using this kind of bubblegum pink shade um, just to kind of blend that out because I was like, right, well, I've got to really think here so it doesn't end up going muddy because usually with a lot of different palettes, you can kind of blend different colours and it won't go muddy. You can kind of save it. But this one, I felt like I had to be extra careful with certain colour stories. And that's why I found this palette really hard to work with because there aren't a lot of colour stories within the palette. It's very, very scatterbrained, you know what I mean? Like, that you just couldn't pinpoint which colours could go with which because of the chance that, oh, they might not blend well together. So that's kind of what I had trouble with. Um, obviously, I had swatched them beforehand and I swatched all the shimmer shades and I looked at the matte shades just, you know, for, for me. <laughs> I just looked at them. Um, and you know, the mattes were like, okay, um, shimmer shades, they looked promising, honestly, the shimmer shades did look promising, um, but I, I think, mm, they kind of just don't apply as well on the eye? Um, so yeah, I was swatching the shimmer shades on my hand, as I usually do when I get a brand new palette, I start swatching all over myself, and... Um, the blue, uh, the blue shade, the shimmer shade, that came out really chunky, like really chunky. And usually I can use a blue shade, and it kind of goes really nice and smooth, and you know. But um, yeah, that was quite chunky. And I show you this white, whitish shade on the palette. I think, I think it's supposed to be used for like an inner corner and brow bone highlight. Did not go to plan. Um, I ended up making a whole dent in it, and I will show you that. Um later in a bit at the end when I'm all finished up but yeah I just kind of went for a standard cut crease because when everything goes 
a bit wrong and, you know, your life's going to hell, you just go with a cut crease. That will save your life. So that's basically what I did. <laughs> I used the cut crease to save my life. <laughs> I thought, what's going to make this look salvageable? A cut crease. That's what's going to help me here. So I just went to a cut crease because it's my go-to kind of style, I guess you could say, <laughs> if I have a style. Um, but yeah. Again, I'm really just using those three colours, the black from the other palette, the purple and the pink. And then I will use, um, it's kind of like a, a pinky beige colour um, in a minute, and I'll use that as well. Um, so yeah, putting this shimmery shade on, it's called Pride. That one actually, very nice. Tad bit glittery, that's the only thing I would say, tad bit gl glittery, like to the point where it was like, kind of going all over the place, it was going under my eyeballs, um, trying, to, uh, trying to make it stay out of the matte shades kind of stuff like that so that was not very helpful um but again you know you just do your make just do your eyeshadow before your foundation and you should be able to keep it at bay which luckily um I always do my eyeshadow before then so I was able to just kind of brush it out under the eye so yeah I didn't have um much difficulty with that shade that shade was probably one of my favourites in the palette. I think that's probably why I went for a pink theme because I thought, oh, what would this shade look good with? I know, pink and purple, <laughs> as you do. Um, So yeah, I'm just kind of going in with my Ofra liquid liner and just kind of doing a standard line, no wing, but I do go in with black in a minute and just kind of smudge out the edges of the liner just so it looks a bit more smoky. <laughs> and then after that, um, I think I go off and do my skin off camera because that's not really important right now. <laughs> but I also want to mention the whole, I think, concept of this palette was supposed to be there was a bright side and a dark side to the palette. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't see a dark side to this palette. And like, come on, guys, like if you watch my videos, you know, I like those deep colours to start off with. That's basically like how I think of a of a look, I think of what dark eyeshadow I can go in with first. And like the deepest shade that there was was maybe the blue, but I don't even think the blue was that dark. Honestly, it was like more of like a cobalt blue. Is that how you say it? Cobalt? Cobalt? What? You know what I'm trying to say. I just can't say it. Um, but yeah, you'd think if there was a light side and a dark side, you'd have like some, you know, blacks. That's literally the first colour that comes to my head. Black is a dark colour. Um, you know, you'd get some rich colours, like, I don't know, like a really deep red. I know there's a light red in there, but, you know, why not? Like a deep red as well, or like a deeper purple, or, I don't know, like a deeper green. I don't I don't know, but, like, you could have gone with, like, the deep colours, because there's a lot of pastels in on the light side, which usually I use, like, the pastel colours to kind of blend out the deeper colours. But where there's no variation of deeper colours... Like, I was a bit kind of flabbergasted, a bit kind of shocked, like, I'm not in my natural habitat, I don't know how to react right now. So, yeah, I did find that quite hard, and I do think if you're going to have this palette, then you are going to have to dip into other palettes, or just... I don't want to say it, but I think I should say it, just, I don't know, don't waste your money on it. I, I don't know what the concept of this palette really was, I really don't. Because someone like Nikki Tutorials is like amazing at makeup obviously so I, I just don't understand the concept oh yeah so I don't want to be the party pooper but I, I don't know can you guys tell me how do you feel about this palette if you have it you know I just I, I it was a lot of hard work to make this work like I've chopped it down to 13 minutes but it was a lot of hard work I was there for a couple hours just trying to make these look as seamless as I could because even the purple's really, like, really hard to blend out, and I couldn't blend the purple in with the pink properly, I guess, because the, the pink was too kind of bubblegummy, and it wasn't blending out. But then I thought, oh, well, what could blend out the purple? And then I looked at the yellow, and I was like, oh, no, the yellow is too white-toned, if you get what I mean. Like, it's too mellow yellow, where you'd want more of a vibrant yellow, if you get what I mean. And then I looked at the orange, and then the orange was too kind of pastel -y as well, so I was just like, ah... Oh. It, it was it was a headache. It was a very stressful couple of hours, and I don't wish to relive it anytime soon. Um, so I thought to kind of spruce up the look a bit, 
um, go for a very colourful yellow, you know, waterline. I was like, what can I do to make this look special? I know, yellow waterline. So I just kind of went in with a yellow pencil liner. And then I set it with the yellow powder in the eyeshadow palette. But honestly, I really want to do something like creative and oh my gosh, that looks so unique and kind of thing like that. But it was just very hard to do because it was just all kind of mishmashed. Like it just wasn't a very cohesive palette. And it really annoys me because somebody, like I've watched Nikki tutorials for like years. It must be like literally like five years now I've probably watched her. And it's just, I don't know, a bit of a bummer. A bit of a bummer. I mean, I can't really say much because it's not like I'm, you know, um, you know, it's not like I've got my own palette or anything like that. But I'm just saying, um, as a, somebody who has the palette and was not gifted it, you know, went out their way, you know, well, my boyfriend went out his way to go, you know, get it for me for Christmas. I just felt like, am I going to get the use out of it now? Because now I feel really bad that he's wasted his money. And this is the white shade that I was talking about. You see, like... Literally, this is real time, how long it took me to get the kind of pigmentation that I wanted. <laughs> I wanted, And I felt like I was literally like attacking the palette. I was attacking the pan because I was like, why, why is there no, no pigment? I don't understand. And so it took me at least like six times poking myself in the eye to finally get a bit of pigment. And you know, the eyes are very sensitive area, okay? <laughs> so yeah, look at that. I mean, I guess it's kind of like, a spongy shadow, a bit like the um, NYX ones, you remember those, was it the Mocha, Mochi, something like that, and they were squishy, but at least they had some pigment with them, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I just went back into my um, client clientele, client, <laughs> it's one of those, and straight away, like, that is the pigment I expect from a brow bone highlight and a corner highlight, like, those are probably the easiest shadows that could be made, <laughs> I don't understand why it was so so difficult. Um, but yeah, I am honestly flabbergasted about this palette. I I I don't I don't have many pro uh, pros about this palette. Honestly, I mean, take what you like from this video. Um, feel free and give me your suggestions of what you thought about this video. Because honestly, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna make this eyeshadow palette work. I really don't it's just not, you look at the shadows and they just don't appeal to me, like what can I do, what can I do with you? Um, but yeah guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought, um, leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed me rambling, and don't forget to subscribe, and if you like you can follow me on IG, my IG is lacy.makeup, feel free and give us a follow and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!